Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. So, Touch of Ink, this is an upcoming celebration set. Ooh, so in January this set can be earned for free. So, I'm going to put this over to the side. I wish there was dies that came with it, but it's no biggie. So this is the first card. Look at all the pieces. I hope I have them all. Yep. Hi, Kathy. All right, so at least you can see. And I'll probably put my glue like I always do and stick it to my paper, which I need to get a piece of scrap paper. slide that under there neatly <laughs> make sure I didn't lose any pieces like you know I usually do okay so I cut two just in case I'm a little off because you know I do that too just like every stamper so I'm gonna take the butterfly first and we're gonna stamp it in Highland Heather and oh I hope the computer is not messing up I just saw it kind of blank all right so I'm going to ink her up now of course you know when I did it the first time I stamped it and then went to the cutter but we're not doing that because I think I can get that on here pink Oh, looks like I didn't have to use that one. We don't know yet. <gasps> Ta-da! Okay. So what I did with this one, I'm going to try it with our blends. Because, of course, you know, I use something different. So I have Light Flirty Flamingo, Light Heather Highland, and Light Seaside Spray. And let's see if I can make it look almost like the other one. All right, so didn't get crazy. No real blending. I'm going to bring it like up to about there. Well, actually, I did the other one a lot less with the pink. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Then we're going to take the Highland Heather. And we're going to blend it a little bit down into... And I'm going to leave a little bit there. Then we're going to take ugh, the Seaside Spray. Yeah, the colors are a lot different, but this is kind of kind of drying up on me. So now I'm going, you can see, I'm going down into the purple. So we're going to kind of blend that purple and blue together so you don't see such a horrible line. And then we're going to bring back the, whoops, the pink one. And blend that up into the purple. Might bring the purple down a little bit more. Let's see what that does. Stay with me there. Wants to fly away.
a um, little more blue up there and there and we're going to bring that down a little bit more okay then i'm just going to grab a yellow so this is light mango melody and we're going to do the little guy's body in that I did it. Okay, so then we're going to take and glue that down. Now this was the layering circles. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. Move over just a hair, just a hair. Okay, let's move that. So now with this piece, uh, we want the leaves. So I'm taking the leaves and pear pizzazz. And we're just going to stamp. Uh, whoops now I gotta I gotta commit to that spot then I'm gonna come over to here and these are gonna be tilted a little bit more just so they can fit but that doesn't matter then I'm just gonna fill in couple spots like right there maybe one more up there I'll do that one okay I think I'm happy almost you know I always got to do that one extra <laughs> okay I'm happy before I ruin it Okay, so now we got that. So, we're going to take and mount that. And that is on Misty Moonlight. All right, don't go in the middle, Gail. Don't go in the middle. So, we're just going to put that down. We're going to throw some dimensionals on the back of this. Let's see if I could. Oh, good job. All right, so that's ready. That can go back there. So now I have this, um, look at that, I made myself a big braided linen trim. And this is Mossy Meadow. Oh, let me get a piece of tape ready. Okay. So I'm just going to take and wrap like twice. And then put a piece of tape over that and snip it. Snip it. Okay, that's about where I want it. That's about where I want that. Then we're going to take thank you so much. And we're going to stamp that in the Highland Heather. Right there. Ooh. I 
think I'm throwing a fit. All right, so I'm just going to guesstimate it. I could have guesstimated it before. Uh, let's take that a little smaller on this side. So this is a half inch, and then this is not quite three quarters. Watch me snip my skin again. I haven't done that in a while. All right, so that's gonna go right there. Uh, yeah, I put them away. I think that's going to hold it up anyway. I just don't want it to sag. I know. I know. I should have done that with the whole thing, and then it could have, like, straddled. We don't want that one. I want it to straddle it. I think it will now. Yep. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and place this. I know all that fuss, right? You got the poinsettia set? Ooh. Yeah, it's like, I love that paper. I love that set. Okay, so then what I did, and you know how much I love tying on camera, not, not it, all right, so, and I know I'm using an awfully big piece, like I wouldn't use this big a piece, but on camera, yeah, I'll waste some. So that's a cheat bow, just tying it around the ribbon that's already there. Does make it easier. And then you can tighten it and trim it down a little more. I think we'll take a, oh why is that stuck? Ow! Hauser. Oh, my knot came out. I'm not tying it on camera. So we're going to stick that under there just to keep it. All right, let's get rid of some of this. I will set the butterfly and then put it on the card base. So that's going to go right there. And then onto the card base. Oh, let's do this too. That gives us just that little extra stick. Now you could raise this also and then you won't see a like a bump from the ribbon, but that doesn't bother me. And there she blows. So it, it didn't blend as much as the other, but it came out good. I like it. Okay. That was card number one. Card number two is this one.
So let's get all the pieces. Oh, it's card number three that has a lot of little, little pieces. Ooh, that was an extra. Okay. So this one, fairly simple. Black ink. And I did the middle one first. Mm, I think I let that one go on a little bit more than I'm going to this time. Try number two. Ooh. Betterer. And then right there. And then just a little of it sticking out there. I'm holding it an extra second just in case. Good. Okay, so then this was from the stitched um, So Sweetly dies. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp um, best wishes on that. And for that, I'm using my favorite VersaFine ink. Then it'll be dry. Although it does dry quicker on regular cardstock. See, I'll be looking for things. All right, I'm going to put a clean piece of paper under that so it'll be less confusing. Okay, so very simple, I think. <laughs> I have Dark So Saffron, um, Dark Daffodil, Dark Mango, Light Daffodil, and I think I have the Light Mango, but I'm not sure what I used for what. So, so we're going to start out with the Light Daffodil. And I'm just going to color in these flowers quickly just to get them like wet. And I don't usually do my lights first. Or maybe it, like, we'll see. I'll, I think I'll do this one with the lights first. And then the next one, I'll do it the way I normally do it. And this is supposed to be greens, but I made them more flowers. Oh, let me do that. Let me do that. So this is the dark daffodil. So I'm going to go in. And just put in like where the shading would be and it's always going to be like you know where your petal comes out around another petal like right there then where you see these dips you can make a line like that so we won't do it in all of them but So then I'm going to come back with the, oh, you know what I'm going to do that in? Sorry. 
Light Mango Melody, which is just a little bit darker. It's like a hair darker than the um, uh, the da daffodil, than the dark daffodil. So then come back with the light. And then blend that all in. I still have to do the other couple flowers. Oop, one of those little flies. So it's just giving, you know, like a little bit of go. I gotta put a label back on this one. That's driving me crazy. Okay. So I'm going to just do that. Forgot a little there. And I'll catch that one when I do the rest. So I'm going to go in with the shading. So this is how I normally, I go dark to light. But then it's like what whatever's in my hand at the moment because there's no real rule. And then you can always fake it a little bit. Just add a little bit of something in there. I'm even gonna skip this time <clears throat> and I'll see how it looks the uh, whoops I don't want to do that the darker one the mango I'll skip the mango we'll see how it looks and we're not going to see that much of a difference okay so now we have the light Daffodil. Yeah, we are going to see a little bit of a difference. Whoever gets the card will say, Oh, I wonder why she did the leaves orange. They're just little flowers. <laughs> she wanted them all yellow. All right, so I'm going to come back in again. Um, no. Light Mango Melody. So I'm going to do a little there. I'm going to come back with the Dark Melody there. There. Just a couple spots I'll hit to brighten it up. And then come back with the Light. Oops, wrong one. And you can even leave white spots if you want. Like these are very sketchy flowers. I almost missed those. Okay, so the dark, dark mango melody. I did the insides with. Oh, you know what also I did? Where'd it go? I brought in um, the bronze. So 
so I mix the bronze with the mango. Yeah, that's what I did. So that popped it out a little bit more. Okay, now for that guy. So this is the light and dark Bermuda Bay. Seriously? I guess we don't want to use this one. This one's not even cracked. There's a tool for everything. Oh, your hand has to be able to hold it. Dun, 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 dun. I don't see a crack in this one. I don't know. Okay, so I just kind of sketched in. I didn't look at the screen. Are you guys laughing? I did it on purpose just to make you laugh. Okay. <clears throat> and then I just sketched in nothing like fancy crazy. I'm going to give a little extra there. I didn't do it on the other one. We'll see what it looks like. I'm going to do it there too. Oh, goodness. Help me. All right. Then I took, I'm going to need the green. Oh, no, I need the light Bermuda first. Duh. So now I only sketched in a little. I didn't blend it yet. I just kind of did that sketchy etchy. See, there's still a lot of white space in there. You'll see why. Then I did the same thing with the light and dark so saffron. And I might add in a little something, something, something there. And then I did some in here. So that was the dark. Now I'm going to take the light. Blend that. Okay, so now we have light granny apple green. And I think I did the whole belly. Yep, I did. With the light. And the head. Okay. There was something else I did um, with the yellow. Okay, this was the dark daffodil. Yeah, not that side. Just couple of little strokes. Then I took that, oh, which one did I use? Dark or light? Well, let's start with the light because you can always go darker. That's fine. Uh, 
then I went totally over that because to me it was like too green and this brought can you see the difference from that to that it takes out some of that greenish tone to it and we're going to do the same thing to that so that's why I left some white space knowing I was going to bring in that blue and I'm just glad I didn't forget and I'll fill in some there and I think I just want to brighten up this yellow a little bit more And with the yellow and green, you can go right into each other. Okay. We got that. Um, oh. Oh. Yes. Balmy blue. I've got a mess here. I've got a mess. Let's get rid of the tools. Scissor. Because I'm looking for where I put the brush. Aha. So this has alcohol in it. And I'm going to do my... <laughs> with the pliers. Okay, so this has alcohol in it. So I'm going to put some alcohol into that balmy blue ink. And then I'm going to start there because I know that's where I'm going to be covering it. <laughs> In case it didn't come out right like that one time. And I'm making this a little bit darker than I did my original. But it's a very quick way to make, you know, fill in a background. Okay. That's all she wrote. Ooh. Already did that yesterday. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and mount that on there. And it's a little bit wet, but it's alcohol. It dries quick. So it'll be a-okay. I'm missing comments. I'm sorry. I'm really paying attention to to this. Okay. And we're going to pop this up. the best wishes. Oh, I wonder how these would look. I didn't put any, or maybe, maybe just, oh no, those are, I'll put some on later. But I like the, 
background a little darker. But no matter what, it dries lighter. You'd have to like use a lot less alcohol. And I'm always afraid to do that. Okay. Card number three is this. So I have a lot of little pieces. So there she is. So we're going to do this part first. We're going to stamp and I'll show you the butterfly does it the same way. Um, so we're going to stamp this again in black. going to take that in Bermuda Bay so we're going to stamp off once and then just got things falling on me just line it up the only thing that I, I'm going to cut this out, so the only thing I was concerned about was the head. And this would be pretty on watercolor paper, and then just like watercolor, a couple things into it. This will go pretty fast, because I did it a couple times already. So you don't have to be exact. Like that's good, right? Okay, we got all these little flowers. So this came from Forever Ferns. These came from, oh, how do I forget so easily? Uh, not Seaside. This one. Oh, from the um, Wreath Builder. And Forever Flourishing is the other one. See, I didn't even have it right when I thought I had it right. Okay, these papers are also a freebie next month. So pretty. I got to put it in another bag. So these are Oh So Ombre. So you've got all these pretty, 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 pretty papers that you can get for free. <laughs> oh, Lou should be here to hear that. Okay. So this one I cut at three and a quarter. Yeah, three and a quarter by four and a half. And then this is my five by three and three quarters. We'll just double check that. Yeah. So these are like the regular. And then this one was four and a half by three and a quarter so that it's nice and equal around the sides. So we're gonna go ahead. We'll start with this one. I guess I, well, no, I have to do this first. Never mind. You guys don't know anyway. So I'm just going to put a few 
dots here and there and there and here and I wish I had eyes on the top of my head so that I could see comments but I can't hi Peg so I just put this down there And that's why I couldn't put it together yet. Look at that side. Isn't that pretty? Could have used that too with a different color. I had a couple of these I did pink. But they're just so pretty. Okay. Now I can go ahead and put this together. The right way. But it could do a little bit more even. Look how pretty. Look at that layered on. Oh, but it's going the other way. <laughs> I'm always upside down. <laughs> I think tomorrow I'm going to stay in bed. It's a good place to be. Okay. So then these things, well, let me just put some dimensionals on this. Of course, I didn't put it away this time. So one, two, buckle my shoe, put one there, one there, and I hope there's room on the kepi. Yep. Okay, so he's ready. We'll just put him there. That's a good idea, too. Stamp it underneath for a shadow. Ooh, ah. Ideas. All right, so these I turned upside down, and I think I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see how many I dropped. Oh, I have exactly seven. And I, oh no, I got eight. Look at that. And then we need these little guys. So we're going to put them smack dab in the middle. Over. Okay, it's a twofer. And the last one. Okay, then what I did is laid them out. Kind of randomly. I hope that's where it went because I'm not really looking at the other and one more right there uh, yeah it's a little uneven well I think I pushed them down too far maybe not okay it's good enough so then, because that dot is there, and I wasn't going to cut another one for those dots, so I took a punch that I have, and come on, you went faster the last time, and dots started flying everywhere, and you got to do a few extra, because... You don't know if they're going in here or somewhere else. Ah, there they are. 
All right, so you got to flip them over so they're on the right side. Because believe it or not, there is a right and a wrong. <laughs> and I didn't try, like, putting a marker in there. Probably should have tried that to see what that would do. Or you could do, like, a bigger... Nah. I mean, it kind of does it. So then, with your pickup tool... So you've already got, except I probably just screwed that one up. Nope, it's still sticky. So it's like a hair smaller than what punches out of it. But it looks fine. Or if you have little um, gems that you want to put in there. Or if you just want to cut a lot of these out of another color to get the exact size, you can do that too. Um, not about that. Flip over. Oh, that one's flipped. No, it's not. Come on, I don't want the flat side. Yay! Then place him right by one of the flowers. And then I'm going to take the thank you so much again. And Blackberry Bliss. And we're going to stamp that right there. And then put that onto our card back. So really, it's not a it's not a hard card, and you get some use of your other dies. And if you don't have these, I'm sure you've got some dies that have little flowers and a magic little bush, <laughs> or you can actually stamp and do whatever. But I like to mix it up. So that is card number three, card number two, and card number one. Let's see, am I in the window? I think I is. I think I is. We're good. Hey, Lou. So, that's it. And this set, as I said, will be available. Oh, Lou's here. I can do it again. It's going to be for free next month. So, thanks, everybody, for being here tonight. I will be back on Wednesday with, you know my motto, I don't know what, but it'll be something. See y'all then. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Stay safe.